It is when we do our part faithfully, then God does his part. A beautiful illustration comes from how they make silk saris in northern India. A sari is a woman's dress, a traditional woman's garment in the Indian subcontinent. And they have the most beautiful designs. The wedding saris in particular are made of gold silk threads. And the bride wears some of the most gorgeous, colorful silk saris that you will ever see. They are bright and vibrant, and the design is exquisite. And when you go to the places where these saris are being made, you will be amazed to see they are such small, primitive setups, usually operated by a father and a son. They use a hand loom, which is a, a simple weaving device. The father sits on a slightly raised platform. The son sits on the floor. The dad takes all these different threads of varying colors, and the son operates the hand loom from below. And his job is to move the shuttle as per the father's instructions. Now, the son's job is easy. He doesn't have much of a clue of the, the larger design or the pattern, but he merely follows the father's nod. But the creative father who knows the design is doing the work of weaving the threads to form the most intricate pattern of art. When the work is done, you see the imprint on the sari. It's the design envisioned in the father's mind. Now think about this. If a human weaver can create a beautiful garment by taking random threads and weaving them together, can God not take the circumstances of our lives to weave a pattern that reflects the end design that he has in mind for us? That is the relationship between our responsibility and God's sovereignty in the decision-making process. We follow God's instructions one step at a time without being able to see the big picture. But the one who is weaving from behind knows what he is doing. He weaves everything together, and the end result is a beautiful masterpiece. 